Hello, welcome back to my channel, Christian Faith and Fiction. My name's Lou. Today I want to share with you some award-winning Christian romance books. I've been looking through the uh, awards websites, looking for different types of Christian books that have won awards in the last uh, 10, 20 years and uh, there are absolutely loads so this uh, particular genre I'm splitting into two parts the first one this month the second part next month so the first part I'm going to look at books in the last five years and then next time I'll look at books in the last five to ten years if you've read any of these books do let me know down below in the comments if you can recommend them or not and also let me know if any of them stand out to you as books you'd like to read in the future I'm going to be filming this uh, in parts over the next few days, just a heads up. So in 2021, Stay With Me by Becky Wade won a Christie Award. And the description for this book says, Loving her is a risk he can't afford and can't resist. When acclaimed Bible study author Genevieve Woodward receives an anonymous letter referencing her parents' past, she returns to her hometown in the Blue Ridge Mountains to chase down her family's secret. However, it's Genevieve's own secret that catches up to her when Sam Turner, owner of a historic farm, uncovers the source of shame she's worked so hard to hide. Also in 2021, Love and a Little White Light by Tammy L. Gray won a Carol Award. And that description reads, January... January Sanders grew up believing karma was more reliable than an imaginary higher power, but after suffering her worst heartbreak in 29 years, she is open to just about anything, including taking a temporary position at her aunt's church. Keeping her lack of faith a secret, January is determined to use her photographic memory to help grace communities overworked staff, all while scraping herself off rock, all while scraping herself off rock bottom. What she doesn't count on is meeting the church's handsome and charming guitarist who is not only a strong believer but has also dedicated his life to Christian music. Now Then and Always by Melissa Tagg won a Christie Award in 2020. The description reads, It was just a house, just a weathered old house in a hidden grove, shuttered and still. Last year, after traumatic circumstances forced her from her job as a nanny, Mara Bristol finally found a place to belong the winsome Everwood bed and breakfast at the edge of Maple Valley, Iowa. Iowa? <laughs> Iowa. For months, she's helped its owner, Lenora, maintain the ramshackle property despite their shortage of guests. But when Lenora fails to return from a month-long trip and the bank threatens foreclosure, Mara worries she's once again alone, abandoned, about to lose the only true home she's ever known. Detective Marshall Hawkins is no closer to Hull today than he was two years ago, the day his daughter died. Between his divorce, debilitating migraines and a dependence on medication, his life is falling apart and when a reckless decision on the job propels him into administrative leave, he has no other plan but to get in his truck and drive. A one-night stay at the Everwood was supposed to be just that, but there's something about the old house or maybe its intriguing caretaker that pulls him in. Falling For You by Becky Wade won the Christie Award in 2019. The description reads, Willow Bradford is content taking a break from modelling to run her family's inn until she comes face to face with NFL quarterback Corbin Stewart, the man who broke her heart and wants to win her back. When a decades-old missing persons case brings them together, they're forced to decide whether they can risk falling for one another all over again. Just Let Go by Courtney Walsh won a Carol Award in 2019. The description reads, For Quinn Collins, buying the flower shop in downtown Harbour Point fulfills a childhood dream, but also gives her the chance to stick it to her mum, who owned the shop, who owned the store before skipping town 20 years ago and never looked back. Completing much-needed renovations, however, whilst also competing for a prestigious flower competition with her mother as the head judge soon has Quinn in over her head. Not that she'd ever ask for help. Luckily, she may not need to. Quinn's father and his meddling friends find the perfect solution in notorious Olympic skier 
Grady Benson, who had only planned in passing through the old-fashioned lakeside town. The Saturday Night Supper Club by Carla Loriano won a Rita Award in 2019. Denver chef Rachel Bishop has accomplished everything she's dreamed and some things she never dared hope, like winning a James Beard Award and heading up her own fine dining restaurant. But when a targeted smear campaign causes her to be pushed out of the business by her partners, she vows to do whatever it takes to get her life back, even if that means joining forces with the man who inadvertently set the disaster in motion. True to You by Becky Wade won a Christie Award and an Inspie Award and was the Christie 2018 Book of the Year. This is the first book in the series that I mentioned earlier on. And the description reads, After a devastating heartbreak three years ago, genealogist and historical village owner Nora Bradford decided that burying her nose in her work and her books is far safer than romance in the here and now. Unlike Nora, former Navy SEAL John Lawson is a modern-day man, usually 100% focused on the present. However, when John, an adoptee, is diagnosed with an inherited condition, he's forced to dig into the secrets of his ancestry. Then There Was You by Cara Isaac won a Rita Award in 2018. Would you give up everything for a life you hate with the person you love? Paige McAllister needs to do something drastic. Her boyfriend can't even commit to living in the same country. Her promised promotion is dead on arrival and the simultaneous loss of her brother and her dream of being a concert violinist has kept her playing life safe and predictable for six years. Things need to change. A moment of temporary insanity finds her leaving her life in Chicago to move to Sydney, Australia. There she finds herself against many of her convictions as a, lost, a logistics planner for one of Australia's biggest churches and on a collision course with her boss's son. Josh Tyler fronts a top-selling worship band that is in demand all over the world, but his past failed romantic relationships almost destroyed both his reputation and his family. He's determined to never risk it happening again. Just a Kiss by Denise Hunter won an Inspie Award in 2017 and the description reads Riley Callahan's plans to reveal his secret feelings for his best friend are derailed when his life is drastically altered in Afghanistan. Watching the love of his life fall for his brother was enough to send Riley straight to boot camp but over a year later he's officially a marine and Bo and Paige are no longer an item. When Riley's tour in Afghanistan is up he intends to confess his feelings to Paige and win his best friend's heart once and for all. But all that changes when an IED takes the life of a comrade and leaves Riley an amputee. Now he's heading home, injured and troubled. His plans to win Paige are a distant dream. She deserves so much more than the man that's left. All he can do now is put some healthy distance between them. But upon his return, he discovers his family has arranged for him to stay with Paige. A Season to Love by Nicole Deese won a Carol Award in 2017. At this point in her life, bravery is not a trait Willa Hart would readily claim. She believes her seven-year-old daughter, Savannah, who never knew her father and successfully tackled chemotherapy, is truly the courageous one. Yet after Willa has, faithfully, has a fateful encounter with handsome young doctor Patrick McCade, her outlook and her view of herself begins to change. And finally, My Hope Next Door by Tammy L. Gray won a Rita Award in 2017. Can love grow in the shadow of a broken past? Former bad girl Katie Stone can feel the weight of her reputation settle over her as she drives home for the first time in years. Feeling deeply guilty about her past mistakes, Katie wants to do the right thing for once. But the small town where she grew, grew up is not nearly as forgiving as she'd hoped. Despite it all, she's determined to help her parents cope with her mother's recent illness and Katie finds a surprise ally in the man next door. Asha Powell never minded being the son of a small town pastor until a recent breakup leaves him wounded by lifelong members of his church. He remembers his new neighbour as a mean spirited high school troublemaker, but he senses that her newfound faith and desire for forgiveness are sincere. So, those are the books I found that won awards in the last five years. Um, let me know, as I said, let me know if you have read any of those books and can recommend them 
or if any of those books sound like ones you'd like to read in the future. I hope this format wasn't too confusing for you. It is um, helping me with the, the not to have too much pain in my ear and my voice. Um, so I think I might continue with the next video a bit like this as well because it's helpful um, just to do a few minutes at a time. Um, so hopefully that's okay. Uh, I hope you have a really great reading week. Um, thank you to everyone who has subscribed, liked, commented on my videos. I really appreciate that. Um, until next time, I say God bless. Bye.